Hi, and thanks for joining me today. So I have an unboxing of Crafter's Companion box number 26. This is their decorative outline dies craft kit, and it can make a minimum of 24 cards, um, which really just means that there are 24 card blanks that they've included. So um, I have... Uh, gone through this box already, so um, so I did sort of pull things out so that I can um, get ready to flip this kit, which means I'll um, use what's in this box to create at least one flat, one layered, one interactive, and one pop-up card. So uh, first up are the card blanks, and you do get matching envelopes to go with these, and I mentioned before... Um, it seems like this is kind of their standard now, which is um, 4x6, 5x7, and 6x6 uh, six six square. So I I do hope that they go back to um, providing a little bit more variety in their card blanks because they used to do things like easel cards and um, they used to do A2, US A2 size cards as well. Um, I get just for streamlining purposes, it makes more sense to have like a standard. But for me, one of the things I appreciated was having those different kind of fun fold um, style card blanks. And it just made things more convenient. Sometimes I learned a new um, card blank style. So I did always appreciate that. And I hope that maybe they'll go back to that. Who knows? Um, this kit comes with a lot. Um, so you do get a embossing folder. This is a 2D embossing folder. And I don't know, let's see, the size of this is just under five and a half by um, about two and a half. And so it's this really nice frame um, with the oval in the center that's kind of um, not embossed, so you can always stamp your sentiment there. And it's a nice size um, because it's about five and a half. You could um, kind of use it as your um, almost like a um, focal image right down the center. It kind of fits really nicely on the four by six, but it could also fit. Um, you'd have to clip it a little bit, but it could also be almost a belly band for um, your five by seven card. So. Um, It'll be interesting because I don't have, and I haven't uh, used um, sort of border or these style of smaller embossing folders. Usually the embossing folders I have are, you know, for the full card panel meant to be more of a background um, pattern. So it'll be interesting to, to use something more like this and... Um, and uh, uh, definitely a first for me. So kind of nice that they have that included. So you get, and this is the first uh, subscription box that I've gotten that actually includes an embossing folder. Usually it's just stamps and um, dies. So speaking of stamps, this is the stamp set. Ooh, this is kind of nice. You get a dragonfly, uh, a butterfly, and this is a really pretty um, pattern one, a bee and lots of sentiments and uh, in a lot of different fonts and scripty styles so that's really nice pretty much all occasion um, as always there's usually like a happy birthday but there's a lot of very general ones too like enjoy your day you are in my thoughts a flower a day keeps the frown away i like that they uh, sometimes throw in something that's a little bit non-standard um but you know works really well with the kit sometimes um like if there's a theme around flowers they'll include a lot of floral um style sentiments and so i really appreciate that um so really nice large stamp set there this looks like a coordinating um set of dies so it looks like um this will cut out the butterfly the dragonfly and yep the bee is there and then you'll there's some flowers and leaves and this little um, kind of uh, 
twig with leaves on it. So, um, so that will create some floral elements. And then I think this is the main, what they call a decorative outline um, die. So this is all one die, really intricate. And I'm wondering, it'll be interesting to see this flower right here looks like it matches that one. So I think you can kind of do some layering. Um, this one looks like it might match that. So it'll be interesting to, to just see if in fact that's true because then um, you can kind of layer up some of these elements and really add some more dimension to, to this. But it looks like this is a vase uh, with a floral arrangement. So really nice size die and that for scale, let's see, on the 4 by 6 I mean, that's going to fit your 4 by 6 panel really well. That'll take up pretty much the whole uh, card front on the 4 by 6 So that's really nice. Um, in terms of embellishments, we're getting gems in three different colors, three different sizes, and a set of um, die-cut sentiments. So that's kind of nice. I mean, considering we already get the stamped sentiments, it's kind of nice that they've included this as well. Um, I haven't looked at any inspiration on um, using this kit yet, so it'll be interesting. Um, one of the things that I thought I really found interesting was that they've included a... This is a first for me. I've never seen this in a kit before. So they've included a pack of uh, vellum sheets. So you get one sheet in each color. And there's a nice assortment of colors here. And this is vellum. And then um, along with that, you get the exact same colors in solid color cardstock. So you can see these match up. It's amazing, you know, their color matching. Um, everything is like really spot on here. So you can see how they're pretty much like exact colors. So really um, nice collection. You do only get the one sheet per color in the vellum. But with their uh, colored cardstock, I think there's multiple sheets, maybe two or three. And I recently uh, reorganized all of my um, sub boxes. So I'm planning on reusing, repurposing these boxes um, and just, you know, maybe having some fun kind of mixed media uh, fun with them. But the intent was to just consolidate them all down and instead of keeping each of these kits um, packed the way that they are, I figured that I'm going to use the dies and stamps more if they're packed along with all of my other dies and stamps. So I've just printed labels um, so I know what box kit they come from, if I, especially since some of them coordinate. And then with the rest of the kit contents, what I've done is I've taken one box, for example, and I'm putting all of my colored cardstock into that box. I have another box that's all the printed pattern paper, another box that's all embellishments from the various kits that I've purchased, and and um, I've consolidated the boxes that way. So uh, it's less, you know, room on my... Um, uh, craft shelf and um, it frees up these boxes which are really they're nice um, sturdy boxes and my thought is that I'm gonna repurpose upcycle these boxes you know recover everything and um, just make them into gift boxes or other um, projects that I haven't yet brainstormed but the uh, the whole idea was to really just reuse these boxes and give them new life. So when I get around to those projects, I'll be sure to have a tutorial or a showcase of how I, um, what I end up doing with these boxes. And um, 
and if there's any interest, I'll also just show how I've reorganized all of my um, kit contents too. So um, that's this box, and when I have this flipped and uh, cards made using this box, I'll definitely be sure to uh, link it to the end of this video so you can see what I ended up making using the contents. Thanks so much for joining me, and until my next video, happy crafting and stay safe. Bye.